Judy Cook and welcome to Let's Go Shopping. Well, I hope you're sitting nice and comfortably because we've got a great show for you today. And if moving is on your list for, well, the end of this year or even the beginning of 2016, I've got a great real estate agent for you to be chatting to. We are now talking to Mr. Cameron. Oh, Hello, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good, actually. I'm, I'm getting through the week. As you know, Kay's away, so yes. it's actually the last couple of weeks. But, Are you um, finding that everybody's running around with cooked meals for you? I don't have time to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my don't, goodness. Whatever you do, don't tell her, but I'm actually really missing it. <laughs> oh, are you really? I bet you are. What have you just, you've ticked, just ticked over your 30th or 31st? 30, 31st wedding anniversary. 31st wedding anniversary. Yeah, we don't get to the 32nd. I spilt glue on the bench top and she... <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was the new kitchen bench top, yeah. wasn't it? Oh, yeah, don't mention that to Kelly. Yeah. Oh, she even said to me that was almost a <laughs> <It was. laughs> We're looking at another gorgeous property that you've got listed. Yeah. And in the ever popular Edgware, I believe. Yep, yeah, 113A Edgware Road. Right, let's get to these pictures, shall we? Yeah. So oh, wow, look at this. Fantastic townhouse. It's actually up a, a long drive right at the end, so it's among other, <coughs> excuse me, similar townhouses. Really private, really sun filled, fantastic wee property. And you've got the outside area is, I mean, yeah, it's, sometimes it's hard to find properties that have an area you can just sit in and relax. Yeah, sure, and, sure. And, and, and it's like your little haven, it isn't is, it? It is. As opposed to even a, a garden, it becomes your place of tranquility. Yeah. That very much looks like it. It is indeed. Look at the beautiful, beautiful um, camellias and rodos here. Yeah, and nice, we just, we, not a huge conservatory, but a small mm. conservatory, you can just sit out there and there's even a winter time and enjoy it. Yeah, lovely. It's three bedrooms, so there's one bedroom and there's, uh, which is downstairs, and it has its own bathroom and then two bedrooms upstairs with uh, a bathroom as well. Once again, same as the Fantasia place that we looked at, um, neat as a pin. It is, yeah, great living. And it's, look, it can serve so many different purposes. It can be a lock up and leave for those people that great. sort of just use it as a base. But it's, yeah, it can actually still work as a family home as well. Um, and looking here at the kitchen, you've got these nice skylights letting in all this extra light into your kitchen. Yep. It's awful yeah. working in a dark kitchen. It is. And, and awful. The property's built in the late 1990s, so it's reasonably, it's, yeah, it's modern. Nice. It's not, you know, not too much work to be done. Yeah. Bedrooms are all good size. Um, How many bedrooms are we looking at here? Three total. One downstairs, two upstairs. Oh, yeah, see, that's handy having one downstairs, yep. isn't yeah. it? So, it said, it's... it's it's nice to be able to bring such quality properties to the market. Single double garage? It's a double garage as well. Double internal garage. Access. And how's this property being sold, Malcolm? It's being sold by a deadline. This uh, is a, a deadline? deadline. Look, it's, okay. It's, we, we've spent okay. all year go selling by auction and yes. now we've got a few deadlines coming into the process. Is this the advantage of being able to talk to professionals as to what is the what's, market's happening? Yeah, and, and what's the best way to sell a property okay. at, at the point in time? Open homes? Open homes Saturday and Sunday from 12 to 12 40. Great. Okay, Saturdays and Sundays, 12 to 12.45. Make sure you get along, or otherwise you could give Malcolm Cameron a call on this number at Harcourt's Vision. Harcourt's Vision in Bishopdale, you can contact Malcolm, the main reception on 359 4370. The Portable Emergency Power Pack. Yes, the Super Mini Booster. We're back with Paul again here, out at Lineside Motors in Rangiora. I'd just like to start off by saying as well that we have never had a product on Let's Go Shopping that has caused such a sensation as this Super Mini Booster. Make sure if you've got a vehicle, you need one. Paul, great to be here with you, and of course, what a huge success the Super Mini Booster is, is proving itself. Take us through exactly what a Super Mini Booster is, please. Yes, thank you very much. The Super Mini Booster is a portable emergency power pack. It's only tiny, 4.8 kgs. Um, it lives on charge all the time. It has no memory, so it can just stay on charge all the time in your car and your cigarette lighter. So it just sits on the floor there, and when you turn the car off, it normally turns itself off, and 
is always there if you need power to start your car. Can I just say, Paul, mine actually sits underneath my driver's seat and just threads through dead easy. And of course, all the, these new vehicles now have actually got an, an extra, like, um, cigarette lighter, as we call them, in the back of the vehicles, like a cameraman's, he just keeps his plugged into that. Fabulous. Yes, brilliant. That's, easy. That's, it's a nice, easy way to hide it away. Um, and it comes with, it's got some nice bright LED lights on the front of it. Yes. So when you're under the bonnet and it's dark, trying to jump start something or change a tyre, you've always got the lights at the side of the car. We've even got some flashing ones there if you feel a bit unsafe with cars coming towards you on the side of the road. You want to, you want to warn them. So um, uh, but the other thing is as well, Paul, I love the way these are so tiny. Mm -hmm. They don't feel too big for a woman to be handling handling these things. No, that's correct. They're nice and light and they they're are. very small and we've made new gel leads out now which are very, very soft and makes it nice and easy. No big stiff jumper leads anymore, you oh, know. Right. It's Absolutely. really nice and really flexible. So really if people have got a vehicle they need one of these. End hey, of story. Yes, well, normally if it's a contractor, he's in his truck like this going to site, he's pulling up and his digger won't start or his plate compactor or his, you know, small trucks won't go. Um, they just pull this out, boom, and away they go. They don't have to try to pull it up into a tight spot with the jumper leads from one car to the other and two alternators fighting each other, which is not a good sign sometimes. But Well, a lot of the modern cars, they can't do that because of the, the computer chip that's in them. That's exactly right. It completely right, yeah. jiggers it, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes, it does. You yeah. can do do this solely by yourself. That's you need no other vehicle, you need no other person to be able to do it. No, that is correct. That's what I like, yeah. and the safety in that as yes. well. For yes. women yep. on their own, there's a huge amount of safety yep. in it. Well, we've got a lot of girls, a lot of ladies that use this booster. Fathers buying it for their daughters, putting it in the car because they Have don't want idea. their daughter stuck in it. Come out of work on a night shift or something, can. And, uh, and, and and find that they've got a flat battery there. Yeah. Do you know I've actually found two people on the side of the road with the cars front to front since I've had mine in my car and I'm snickering as I'm driving past. I would have offered, but they were already in the already process. The seat, Cameraman yeah. actually helped a gentleman. He was in a really awkward position and couldn't get a car in front of him. He had a massive four-wheel drive and Simon just tootled along with his with his little gadget here, yeah. nice and light and easy, and got him started. So and these things are going to be bigger yeah. than McDonald's, honestly. Oh, well, just for boating and camping and fishing and, you know, everyone's using them for a electric fishing reels or you know out in the bush you just plug in your, your cigarette lighter for your iPhone your laptops and bits and pieces like that it's just fantastic and I know as well the um, GoPros we had the GoPro plugged into it as well in the back of the car. Brilliant. Yeah. You don't have to have your car going because it's already charged. That's right. Explain yeah. about this no memory. Well, the no memory, it's still a lead acid battery, right? So yep. it doesn't actually have a memory. So you can drain it down and then you can start and power it straight back up. Or if it's only half flat, you can plug it straight in. So it doesn't matter. It's just got no memory. So it doesn't matter if it's flat or half flat or fully charged. You just can plug it in and leave it plugged in all the time. And it will just go to green. And it will We'll just sit there happy. It's like a freezer, I suppose. If you turn the freezer off, what's going to happen to the meat inside the freezer? You know, it's not going to be that good after a few months. So it's good and always good to keep it charged, okay? okay. And it can sit. We've got an on off switch here. So if you want, you can turn it off and that isolates the battery, okay? So the battery can sit there in dormant mode, okay? Okay. For That's up to three to four months is fine. Okay. We are getting longer than that out of it by sitting, but, and then you turn it on to charge, okay? So okay. it will accept the charge only when the switch is turned on. Best I check that mine's turned on. Yes, that's a good <laughs> thing. Did you the read cigarette? the instructions? Oh, typical Gemini. Hey, no, wow. no. Come on over and show me this here. Fantastic old Toyota Land Cruiser here that's being done up. I love these. But are we going to try and get this one started or something? Yeah. Are we? Okay. Yeah. Please. We'll get it going, eh? Yeah. Why um, not? It's been sitting in storage for a bit. We just pushed okay. it back over there from a, having a flat battery. Yeah. So I'll just uh, race away and grab a super mini booster out of this car just here. Okay. Yep. You grab your super booster. So that's come straight off charge. Yep. Straight off charge into here. Clip one on. Hey, but I'd love to see you start this one. Oh, can I? Hey. I'd love to. Am I allowed? Get into it. Oh, excellent. Fave little car in the whole world, this. Can you get in there? Yep, I'm in here.
or the portable emergency power pack, that super mini booster, 0800 483 492. That number again, 0800 483 492. Paper Tree at Tower Junction here. You've been established for about nine years now, Chris. That's right. And you're about to open two brand new stores. Yep. The two new stores are Northwood Belfast mm -hmm. and St Martin's as well. Uh, now, in all three of these stores, you've also got Kiwi Bank and Post Shop. Yeah, that's incredible right. Incredible convenience yep. for people. Yep. You're an incredible price-driven store. Yep. How does that happen, yeah. Chris? Yeah. Well, one of the main reasons is that um, we, we're the only retailer that imports our own books. Really? Yep. Beautiful. And the thing is with these books as well, look, I can pick up this beautiful little one here. Yeah. Fantastic yeah. price off at eleven so, ninety nine. Yep. They come in with the UK branded price on it. You sell it for that same New Zealand price. You don't inflate no, it. No. So what you'll find is, is that the, all these prices are half price. Oh, look at these. Look what fantastic presents. This would okay. make. Look at this. Larry Key, 10 years of great food. Oh my god, Antiques Encyclopedia. Mm. I mean, these are just the most amazing presents, not only for kids, but for adults alike as well. So, so, Art so. supplies, that's something that you're really known here yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. But if you just, um, with the New Zealand Post Kiwi Bank, which are in the St. Martins and Northwood as well. Uh, all three stores are uh, offering a seven-day service on that. Seven-day service? Yep. That's pretty impressive. So they can come in and get the cards, a gift, and get it all posted off at the same That's time. That's right. Saturday, oh, Sundays is included. And they can start off with the withdrawal to start off. <laughs> start off with. Now, we're heading off up into your art department here. Yep. Huge amount. I know I'm a customer of yours for the arts. Yep. Love it. Love sitting down with my daughter yep. and doing all this. Beautiful big canvases here yep. and easels. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we pride ourselves on having the uh, best value for money. 70% uh, off canvas. Um, I don't f think there's anybody else in Christchurch that matches have a, that. Have a look at these prices. You're just going to get gobsmacked over this. I mean, they're just, and they really are professional exhibit. Um, quality canvases as well. Just amazing. Beautiful activity. And look at your selection of paints. You've got a brilliant selection of paints here. Yeah. Art flat, 20% off. Yeah. Yep. On a continual uh, basis. It's an ongoing promotion that we run. Is it really? Yeah. God, God, no wonder I keep coming back. Oh. <laughs> How long is this running for? Yeah, uh, this is going to run for the whole of November. Okay, yep. brilliant price. Yep. You've always got specials, even though your prices are so incredibly yep. price-driven, you still run specials over always, and above yeah. as well. Yep. Okay, so how, what are going to be the hours in the two new stores as well? You're seven days a week here. Seven at, days a week, yeah. Seven days a week? Yeah. Eight till five, uh, nine till 5.30, sorry. Uh, and reduced hours on Saturday and Sunday, uh, 10 till 4.30. But still seven days a week? Seven days a week. Make sure yeah. you come on down and see Paper Tree. Trust me, you won't want to go anywhere else after you've been in here. Beautiful stores, beautiful product and incredible prices. Paper Tree, don't forget those three great locations at Northwood, St Martins and of course here at Tower Junction. My men's store here has gone absolutely crazy. Look, $11 is going to buy you this absolutely beautiful, beautiful <coughs> shirt. Look at this, FLD 11. Quality is just incredible. Short sleeve men's shirts here, have a look at that, $11. Beautiful cotton linen mix on that one. And look at this for another navy, another $11 shirt. Out they go, beautiful lifestyle brand. Just because the prices have been axed, it does not mean that the quality has been compromised in any way whatsoever. Don't forget, beautiful selection of handkerchiefs that have just come in. Great for stocking fillers or throwing in with those Christmas cards. All men's ones and beautiful ladies ones. There's a huge selection here, so make sure you Come on in and have a look. Get in because they are moving very, very quickly. Hey Jude. Yeah. Hey Jude. Oh, I'd like a dollar you for like every it? time I've heard that, Jeff. <laughs> look what I found. Now look, a fabulous range of shirts. Oh my god. For goodness. somebody who wants something a little bit more conservative, twin pocketing, nice check. Beautiful and, and look Burbank. At the price. 
Burbank. You can only get Burbank in here. Look at this here. A little bit more Look at this look front. At this. Beautiful shirt. Gorgeous. Look at the trim on the cuffs inside of the collar. Beautiful piping detail. We've got cut date. Look at this. Oh, look at this coming up. Look oh, at God, this. I love Isn't that. that a beautiful shirt? But look at the price, Jude. Oh, you've got to be to $160 down to $33. How can he do it? I don't know. Re it baffles me. I love that. Look at the detailing on it. Something $33. The, Something the majority bigger. of these are one-offs as well, yep. so you've got to get yourself in sure. here and hunt through. Absolutely. Look at this. Come on, guys. You know you could do with a really nice new shirt. That's a smart shirt. And that will beautiful. transcend the ages. $33. $33. If you want it in blue, look at that. Oh, what a beautiful shade. Beautiful shirt. And, of course, don't forget it goes from small men's right through to Four XL. It's fact, not just. You will, you will take it to six if necessary. Oh, you will take it to six. Look at that. Oh look at the detailing God. on that collar. Look at that. And of course, it's got this. Oh yeah, look at this beautiful cuffs. I mean, the detailing is just magnificent. And of course, it just it has the tag as well, so you can roll them up and still keep them looking oh, smart. Indeed. Couple Excellent. of gorgeous young well, chap look ones. At that for a young look guy. at that. So at all ages, Jude. It's right from teenagers right through to great grandfathers. Banana lemon. Gorgeous. Look, that you'll find brands one. in here that you can normally only buy on the internet honestly Here's and one you of my can go, oh to die for love it look at all this beautiful beautiful detailing in here the hours here are 9 till 4, Monday to Friday, and 10 till 3. 10 till 3 on a Saturday. 10 till 3 on a so Saturday. Time. And of course, that's because the, the ice melts in the gin glass an of hour early. Of course it does. You've got to remember know, that. And you're parking everywhere. It's so easy it to is. get in. All directions. And of course, don't forget two great locations here now for My Men's Store, Bishopdale Village Mall. My Men's Store, Shop 11, Bishopdale Village Mall, Monday to Saturday. Brands you want at prices you want. If it's hats and fascinators you're after for the races or for a wedding, make sure you come on down here to Park Avenue Fashions and have a chat with Sonia. Sonia, you, re you really are an expert after all these years of doing all this magnificent buying and helping women find their outfits or hats to go with their outfits. Oh, I love it. Uh, and <laughs> as you say, it's so important that they wear them correctly. I know. It's, yeah, it can be interesting seeing some people that have them on the wrong way around and you sort of think, oh, well, but it, it it's looks so much better when they are right. <laughs> <laughs> I can well imagine. I can well imagine. And the bursts of colour, the different styles you've got. Talk us through some of these ones. Well, you've I just got thought here. I'd show a few of them. This one here, you know, they're just all a wee bit different. You know, they have this one's a one only. And it will just sit, so it sits on the eye, just on the eyebrow. And you know, quite structured, but it sort of sets off any sort of any sort of lock really. This one here is probably a wee bit more out there. But very much, you know, race hat. Beautiful. God, that's gorgeous. And, it, yeah, and again, it cradles the head. It's sitting nicely. It has got a, has got a wee bit of height to it, but it's still still quite fun. So and it's light. And, and nice for those that do want a bit of height. Absolutely. Now, this one here is quite, quite quirky. And unfortunately, at the moment, I seem to be showing you all black, which probably isn't showing up well on my hair. But anyway, um, oh, that one there is quite, quite structured again. Yeah. But it still sits within proportion. And again, light with the, you know, the openness of the. Absolutely, of the, it doesn't look solid. No, does it? This is a sweet This one here one. is quite cute. It's just a wee little O, so it's black and white. And I've also got it in fuchsia and orange. Oh, that is gorgeous. So that would just pop in a black dress or, yeah, or, you know, with, with what I'm wearing, you could wear it quite easily with that. You're going to pop now. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. This one, a fan, so it sits. It sits like oh, that. that is Just so gives a wee beautiful. bit of height, two tone. I love it. Yeah. So Absolutely it seems to me that most hats seem to be sitting on the right hand side. Okay. At the moment, which okay. is good. And they're all coming on uh, very sturdy headbands. And they're not like the old headbands that used to hurt your head. Yeah, they Having just to... said that, this one has gone now to the left. Oh, okay. <laughs> but Perfect. again, yeah, I mean that gives, the gives a lot of height on that. But it's not it's not heavy on your head. No. You're not feeling like you're going to be walking around all day. And of course, Canterbury is known for our winds, so it's a, oh, it's exactly. a jolly good idea that they are secure. This one here is a pop oh, of colour. Wow. You know, that can go with pinks, black, silver. Grey. The feathers yeah. on that. It's quite different. This is a cheeky little one. We black and white stripe. Most of them are on the um, the bonnet sort of look too. The, oh yeah, you know, look at that. Very much set apart from um, Kate Middleton. In 
finish off with this one here. And then so quite a dynamic black and white. Park Avenue fashions, you'll find them down the Hackley Park end of Lincoln Road. Seven days a week, make sure you get in ladies, time is sticking out. Now I've got a question for you. What does your roof look like? Not sure when was the last time you actually had a look at it. It's one of those kind of places around our own homes that we really don't take a huge amount of notice of. However, it's imperative that it's maintained. We're talking to Davy Clearwater today. <laughs> Davy, nice to have you with us. Good. Yeah. Keep going, don't stop. <laughs> well, it's, it's so important, isn't it? It's a yes. little bit like our feet. Over winter, we tend to put them into yeah. hosiery and, yeah. and into shoes. We forget about them. We're a bit jigged without our feet, and we're a bit jigged without a roof over well, our head. Yeah. Got to, it keeps the water out, doesn't it? It does indeed. <laughs> what are some of the key important things that people need to know about maintaining their roof? Well, it's, it's, if it's a colour steel, they've got to be painted. We all know that. If it's a concrete tile roof, and they need painted as well. Why if it's colour well. steel? Let's just back up. Okay. Why if it's colour steel does it need to be painted? Well, they're notorious for fading. Everybody knows that they fade really, really bad. And what actually happens, the paint actually, because of the heat, and and they get that they do they get really really hot the the color coating on the oxidizes and it goes like powder and then it starts just to wash off and then they start to rust and, okay. and they start to rust at the cut edges and around the nails so very important you paint them um, BHP New Zealand Steel they recommend you paint your roof in the first ten years um, they put a brochure out in 1997 stating that if you want your roof to last 15 years you've got to paint it in the first ten. Most people don't do that. In fact, 99.9% don't paint it. Is at it that because age. it's on the roof and we're not seeing you don't it? Don't see it. Yeah, yeah. Right. But seriously, anything 15 to 20 years, um, they need to be painted. We come in, water blast them down nice and clean. There's always loose nails because, you know, the heat, you hear your roof banging and creaking at Bumping, night. Yeah. yeah. That's expansion and contraction. Um, the nails come loose. We get up there, we, we tap them all down replacing if we have to. Any maintenance that we see up there that needs done, we'll do it while we're there. And then of course water blast it and give it a good coat of resin paint. Okay. Now we don't use foreign brands like a lot of painters, I've got to say that. Okay, yes. There's please. a lot of um, backyard guys making their own paint and foreign brands of paint. We always use now resin. We're getting the best results and it's the best for not fading. So I have to say I love resin paint. Yeah, we well. use a lot of it. In fact, we, that's, we're 100% we're resin um, with all our products. You might pay a little bit more, but we get the results at the end. Well, that's it. That's the most important thing because if you're getting quality, it is going to last, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So, so is time the frame for a, a, an average three-bedroom single-story home? Look, if you rang me today, we'd, we'd come and have a look next couple of days. We'd be okay. two to three weeks out okay. at the moment before and we get there. And doing two-story homes, that's not a problem because you've got your own scaffolding. We've got our own scaffolding. Um, so that's a huge saving for your clients yeah, right our, straight off. Our, our cost of scaffolding works out about half the price if we have to hire it from somewhere else. So. Clear water painting and decorating. Free phone 0800 76 6378. Here I am at the Cats Badanas down in Barrington and of course the beautiful green window. How appropriate with all the beautiful new green growth outside. And green of course the colour of envy. And yes you will be the envy of your friends if you start your Christmas shopping now and get in early. And that's what's happening down here. Glenda, Glenda lovely to see you. And all your Christmas stuff. Starting to come in and yes. we're slowly starting to put it out in the shop. We don't want to overdo it and over Christmasize everybody too oh, early. Oh, aren't you a darling? <laughs> yes. So we have to come to terms with the fact that Christmas is rapidly approaching. Oh, it is. It is. Now, tea towels are a huge seller for you. They are a huge seller at Christmas time. We've just had new stock arrive, so I suggest if people are thinking along the lines of tea towels, they get in fairly quickly because okay. they do sell out. I like these two packs that you've got down here as well. The little Christmas Look packs. At these. With the cats, with the little Santa hats, and we've also got dogs in the same the range with the Santa hats. Too. So they're a little bit of fun, and the penguins. I love are something the new in the in the tea towel Christmas pack. These rather yeah, sweet, lovely. And cheeky. look at these. Look at that. Those Isn't are that our adorable. washable tea towels, which are really, really popular. They're good dryers, and the new cat range that comes in different colours. We have them in red. We've got the lovely turquoise, blue, black. Oh, look at these. Yeah, goodness. I mean, it, you, these are just beautiful to have in your kitchen. Oh, I absolutely. wouldn't want to use them. And of course, what's her name? Rosina, Rosina Weisminster. That's Rosina Weisminster, absolutely. Yeah. Good. But look, I love these two little buddies sitting here. They are. And as Gorgeous I say, selection. Really oh, totally. If you, if you serve yet, there 
too. Beautiful yes. selection. And we also do have a couple of New Zealand tea towels. Oh, because good. Because, of course, at this time of the year, we're looking at posting overseas. We are indeed. With Look some at these. Kiwiana things. Beautiful. Prancing Pukeko. Oh, God, you wouldn't want to say that after a wine. No, Prancing could be Pukeko. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all your gorgeous Kiwiana in here. That's right. Very Our hint gorgeous. of New Zealand jewellery is really popular. Um, oh, and that's... it is made, the power is genuine New Zealand power. I love this on the green. Oh, love Araha. Isn't it fabulous? Oh my, I said I'd wear that. Yes, we also had the, in the same acrylic um, hearts. Oh my God, that's beautiful. With the Renew on the front. They've sold out, but they have been reordered. So we're hoping that the stock arrives fairly okay, quickly. Okay, well, get in quick enough. Notice you've got a, 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 a clear one there yes. as well. Beautiful and packaging. Nice and little cans. Yes, the Look at tins. these. How much nicer are these? than the blimmin' sheep ones. Look at that. Aren't the these geometric gorgeous? The ones, just a little bit different. I love it. Funky, but the little vent out. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like it. As you say, it's something nice to send for younger ones that are oh, overseas. Absolutely. And look at the, these are some and of your delicious. Here's our first little taste of Christmas. And I just love our little dangly leg ornaments. <laughs> they are so cute. So there's the reindeer, the centre, the mice and the elves. Beautiful. You've got the wine glass charms. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Up here, look, little Santas, Christmas decorations. The cat's pyjamas only at Barrington Mall, so make sure you get on in and get that Christmas shopping done. Look, they're open on a Thursday till 7pm as well. That's the only late night. Tony, honestly, I can't get through your I can't get through your shop without doing the whole the touchy, touchy feely. feely. We've just come Ooh. from the waterproof and water resistant area and hessians uh. and that sort of thing through to the furnishing fabrics. Now you've got everything, literally, from leatherette through to the classic. Yep, we um, do. Yeah, the furnishing velvet. Velvet. Yes, there's a lot here. Oh. So uh, the leatherette, actually, seeing as you mention it, yes. that is currently ten dollars <gasps> off. Um, wow. It was twenty nine ninety five a metre. Now it's nineteen dollars ninety five a metre. Great for some home projects. Over yeah the holidays. Actually, I had, I'd forgotten about it. <laughs> oh, OK. Hey, gorgeous ones. I mean, there's some that are on ends here, which will make yes. great, beautiful furnishing cushions, because let's face it, cushions have got so expensive. so expensive. And also for uh, bed heads, bed uh, heads, window box seats. Absolutely. Curtaining yeah, even. Yeah, the push-up bases on um, dining room chairs and that sort of thing. Yeah. So there's a massive range of furnishing fabrics. Generally speaking, they're around the $39.95 a metre. There's very little above or below that so $39.95 a metre for good quality furnishing oh fabrics God. and for yeah. CTV viewers we'll knock another five dollars off five dollars yeah. we'll make it $35 yes. exactly Serious. a metre yep make it economical oh look at that Tony isn't that fabulous oh my god and that's got to be a wool uh, that's is it like a, a, a wool a polyester and viscose it's a bit oh of everything oh my gosh a bit of everything there's some amazing ones in here I know here. you've got to rummage though yes. this is where yeah. we were saying oh, oh shoot there goes the light <laughs> you've got to actually take the time to come in and have a rummage look at these raspberry colours fabulous colours there's lots and lots here oh Just my god oh yes I love this kind of shop dozens. effect um, Absolutely And this, the more traditional brocade types. Yes, gorgeous. Like that. So they're all $39.95 a metre getting, as a rule. These are getting down in size, aren't yep, they? they? Very are. popular. And um, so CTV viewers, you've got to mention it. Okay. Make it $35 instead of basically $40. So. Make life easy. You've got to mention it though. If you don't mention it, you, you don't, don't mention it. it. You won't get before it. Before we ring it up. <laughs> yes, please. Before. Now we even go on to that. Oh, this one's oh. a good one too. Yep. It's a good heavy. It's Love warm. that blue. That's all quite dynamy, isn't it? Together. Yeah, that's it's delicious. Lovely. Now there's more over here. Oh, Tony. They go Let me all have a the look. way down here as well. Wow. Some beauties. As I say, you've got to do a dig. Yeah, you do. Good nosy through. There's florals, oh, which are beautiful. reversible. See? Oh, look at that. Look at that for a bit of colour. I mean, that'd be beautiful in a kitchen and laundry as a, a, as a blind, yeah. as a Roman blind. Well, I suppose that, that would be a good idea. Or a cushion. Just absolutely oh, splash gorgeous of as cushions. Yep. Yeah, there's all sorts. You've just oh, got to wow. dig through. Harold's Warehouse, the trusted name in fabrics. You'll find Harold's Warehouse at 47 Birmingham Drive. The hours and number are... 10 to 4, any day but Sunday, 338 7700. Thanks so much for watching. Let's go shopping. Be safe and happy.